How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Fall 2005. Series 6 has just been announced. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Series 6. All of the new cars, the full festival playlist, every week's Forzathon shop, all of the features and everything you need to know. If you find this video useful guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We do this stuff every month. Let's get into it. We're going to start off with the festival playlist. Now for 80 points across the whole series, you can get yourself a Honda NSX R GT and for 160 points, the Ford GT40. Now the first week, which is summer, for 20 points, you can get the first new car of this month, the Ascari KZ1R. And then for 40 points, the Jaguar CX-75. The Ascari is the first new car of this month. And then through the car pass, you can get the second new car of this month, the 1966 Oldsmobile Tornado. The Forzathon shop for that week has stuff like the McLaren F1, a blue suit, the Hyundai Veloster, and a new horn, the pinball machine. I'm just going to show you a bit more of the festival playlist for that week, all the challenges and stuff like that, and then we'll get on to week two. Week 2, which is autumn, for 20 points you can get the McLaren 765LT, this is the third new car of this month, and then for 40 points the Ferrari Enzo. The car pass car for that week is the 2021 McLaren 620R. As expected, the 620R is the fourth new car for this month coming to the game. Second week car pass. Forzathon shop for that week has stuff like the Radical RXC, the Porsche 911 GT2, a green suit and another new car horn, Mechanical Whiz. I'm going to roll a few more screenshots of the rest of the festival playlist for that week if you want to know what the challenges are. Now the third week, which is winter, for 20 points, you can get the fifth new car of this month, the ATS GT from 2018. And then for 40 points, the Porsche 911 GT1. The car pass vehicle that month, which is the sixth new vehicle, is the 2021 Mini Cooper John Cooper Works GP. That is the sixth new vehicle for this month. The festival playlist that week has stuff like the PLP 50, a grey outfit suit and the BMW M1 along with another new horn, the wheel spin win horn. Once again, here's a few more screenshots of the rest of the festival playlist that week if you want to know what all the challenges are and stuff like that. Now on to the final week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the next new car of this month, the McLaren 650S Spider. And then for 40 points, you can get the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. The car pass vehicle for that final week is the 2019 Porsche 911 Speedster, which is the final new car of this month. That is eight in total. And then for the Forzathon shop, for the final week, you have the Ferrari 488S, you have the Ford Raptor Ranger, and a new car horn which is the paint spray car horn and an orange suit which is very fitting for me because i'm ginger once again here's a few more screenshots of the rest of the festival playlist for that final week if you want to know what all of the challenges are So those are all of the new cars, that's the festival playlist and those are all of the car pass vehicles for all four weeks for series 6. Now let's talk about the features and additions within update 6 where there is quite a few of them. There is a new Horizon story called Drift Club Mexico. As we predicted in yesterday's video there is a Drift Club story coming. The 2021 Ford Mustang Mach E1400 is going to be added to all of our garages once you have completed all six chapters of this new story. And a very cool feature about this new car, which is also the ninth new car, I should say, is you can actually swap the drivetrain on it as you drive. You know, there's a little button in the bottom corner that you can use to swap the drivetrain from rear wheel drive to all wheel drive as you are driving it, which is very cool. So yeah, there's a new Horizon story, which is Drift Club, and they're going to be adding some accompanying and drift club themed clothing items that are going to be added as well the next big new feature is horizon open custom racing a long-awaited feature 
Custom racing arrives to Horizon Open, allowing you to matchmake with like-minded players based on your desired racing parameters like PI class and the type of race it is. And they are also adding a new standalone progression system as we also predicted yesterday in yesterday's video as well. Starting in Series 6, any XP earned in Horizon Open contributes towards both the traditional player rank and the new Horizon Open levels. Each level has a specific XP target and there will also be a new leaderboard for Horizon Open XP. The progression system will be open to open racing, drifting, playground games and custom racing. It doesn't count for the Eliminator and will be moving the gate, this game mode from Horizon Open to the online tab in the pause menu. So there you go, there is a new progression system being added solely based for Horizon Open racing and sort of online stuff which is very cool to see. Talking all about that they have added badges to the game as well and badges are a new reward type earned by completing special challenges or by leveling up in your Horizon Open. These add a small colourful icon beside your game attack and are visible in Horizon Life uh, when free roaming and on leaderboards. So these are probably what the clues were meant about yesterday if you remember in yesterday's video. They're going to be badges that you can unlock through this new progression system for doing online racing and stuff like that, which is very cool to see. Event Lab has a few new additions, I'll read it out now. A variety of new props based on community requests will be available through Event Lab. Additionally, a new Event Lab rule, which is going to be the Scale Gravity rule, is being added, which allows players to increase or decrease the gravity forces applied to the player car from 10% up to 200%. That's very cool. I'm very excited to see what people can do with you know, changing the gravity of cars within event lab races. And then there's a few little miscellaneous fixes which I'm going to cover. These are the, the highlighted ones. Fix for the issue of weekly challenge resetting after the game restart. Improvements to long waits in Horizon Open. And if you're playing on PC, there's been a fix for the issue of the livery editor crashing when ray tracing has been enabled. While there are definitely more fixes and more additions within Series 6, those are all of the major ones. The only things that I'm missing are the very specific bugs fixes and stuff like that, but I don't want to waste your time listing all of them. That is pretty much everything you guys need to know about Series 6 for Forza Horizon 5, which is releasing today and starting next week on the 31st of March, I believe. Make sure to let me know in the comments section below your favorite bit of this update and your hopes for the future of Horizon 5. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.